Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now my good lady's been shopping. She's been to Aldi. Come and have a look at what she got. So she came home with a lot of goodies. Um, a lot of new stuff. Well, it says I'm new. Uh, so, Carlos Takeaway Loaded Fries, Cheese and Gravy. Crispy Battered Fries with Beef Gravy and a Cheese Sauce. There is a serving suggestion look. So these were £1.99 and I've done a video of chips, cheese and gravy last year. I made it myself and I love it. I love chips, cheese and gravy. So let's have a look at the box. So there's a little traffic light system there, look. But we will turn it over and we will have a look at the, the nutritional information. I know some of you are in... I like that so if you want to pause it and have a look by all means go ahead and they are the ingredients there look battered potato fries 64 percent few allergens we've got barley milk wheat and mustard in there so a little bit of spiel about them there look battered potato fries pre-fried in sunflower oil with beef gravy and a cheese a sauce oh. They do, I, 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 oh, I love cheese, I love cheese, I love chips, I love gravy, <laughs> you know, what could go wrong? So there's the ways of cooking, look, you do them in the oven or you do them in the microwave, the microwave's for the sauces only, look, so it's a bit of a, a double, a double effort here, look. You do them in the oven, fan 180, 26 minutes, electric 200, 26 minutes, gas 6, 26 minutes, so... Assuming it's 26 minutes, unless you do them in the air fryer, and it'll be um, less time because they are ferocious little beasts. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so, I'd have more cheese and more gravy on mine, <laughs> be swimming in it. So, let's get these open. So, I've got a bit of graft today and painting. So, I need some carbohydrates in me for energy. Um, well, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, say, chips to be in one compartment and some sachets of gravy and cheese. So that looks like that sort of. Well, it's frozen. There's the gravy. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Let's knock out our chickens till they hatch. So what you're going to do here... You peel back the compartment with the chips in. You do these in the oven, so it's past it's past the seal peel test. But I'm going to do mine in the air fryer. That's where they are going. So there, there's the chips. Look, skin on fries, aren't they? By the look of them, there they are. That's how many you get. So what's the 500 grams? It is 500 grams. So what I'll do, and what you do then. You pierce the, the compartments and you do them in the microwave, microwave for the time specified depending on what microwave you've got look. So you give them for two, two minutes or two and a half, give them a stir and then, and then the same again. So that's what I'll do and hopefully I'll bring you back when they're done. So <clears throat> these have had two minutes, the gravy and the cheese, so I'm just going to give them a stir. I'm just, I'm going to be cautious with these because... In the past, I have burnt them <laughs> by doing them at the required time. So, yeah, they're still that's still frozen. Look in there. So, I'm just going to give it a shake. Try and break that up. Like that. Right, I don't want cross tom cross contamination here. So, I'm going to use another spoon for the old cheese. Mix that up. So it's sort of like that sort of American sort of cheese, isn't it? Cheese whiz. <laughs> kind of cheese that you see look at it I'm not going to try it till it's till it's done right I'm going to put it in the microwave and I'll bring you back oh I can smell it oh it's proper proper cheesy cheap chips are done done them in the air fryer on the on, the, on air fryer um, for 190 only about 17 16 17 minutes but look at them oh they are lovely look how crisp they look as well so I'm going to try a chip, get that one there, cool they're up, 
<laughs> They're a little bit off. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back in um, in a minute. So the um, the cheese and the gravy is done. There it is. Looks steaming away. Look. Have a look at that. So I'm going to try a chip. Basically, I'm going to try a chip first before I get it all on there. Mmm. Mmm, I like them. Tasty. Not put no salt over them. They're quite seasoned, to be honest. It's got like a nice sort of crispy batter. Seasoning on the outside. They're quite nice. The chips are quite nice, I'll be honest. I've got a feeling that this gravy and this cheese might spoil it though, <laughs> but I don't know yet. I really don't. So I'm just going to get it on. I'm just going to get it on. I'm going to put the cheese on. There's the cheese. Look, just whip that on. I mean, there's not enough cheese here, to be honest. It's, it's yeah, it's like that cheese whiz. It's like that American sort of cheese that you see in all the sort of fast food places in America, you know, um, there it is. It's cheddar cheese, 16%. I did have a look at the the ingredients in depth. Well, not this channel. My other channel, um, my beer channel, my booze channel. I'm going live tonight at half past seven on staying in beer reviews. So if you're about, please um, pop in and say hello. I've got some craft beer that I'm going to try. So if you, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you've had these before. I'm sort of marking time here because they're red hot. <laughs> but I'm going to get the gravy on now. And thanks for watching as well. I don't know if I ever say that, but there's the gravy. It's got, so it's got onion in the gravy. I think I need more cheese here. I can smell that gravy, doesn't that smell good? It really does. So there we are, this is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you, see you can see. Have a look at that, see what you think. So you've got chips, cheese and gravy, beef gravy with onion by the look of it. Just gonna dive in. I won't try and get, I won't try and be a pig and get too many. One pound 99 if I never mentioned it. I mean, if you've got a load of frozen chips in there, in your freezer, you've always got gravy in and cheese in, haven't you? You can make your own, can't you? For a fraction of the cost that this, that this costs, I mean, and it is a faff, to be honest. It's not like a quick takeaway where you, you've got to sort of decant the chips, you've got to sort of cook, cook the, um, the gravy and the cheese, and then you've got to stir it and put it back in. So it's not like... It's not like you're saving yourself any time if you did it yourself with your own ingredients, be honest. Mm. It is nice though, that gravy's lovely. That gravy's good, the chips are good, the cheese is... The cheese is debatable, but it's going with this, this meal. Mmm. It's well seasoned. There is onion in that gravy. That gravy's lovely. I was having my doubts, but it is tasty. It's come up trumps. It really has. Mmm. I like it that I am. It's tasty. But like I just said before, you can make your own, can't you? And I have done. Last year I did chips. I did, was it for, were they microchips? I, micro, I think they were microchips, just done a load of, I'll tell you what the gravy was. It was the the Mayflower gravy. Um, what was it? I, I've got some in there as well. Well, I did have some. Southern fried gravy, Mayflower. That, that was it, I think. That was the, the, the gravy I used. And I just created a load of chips over it. Blast it in the microwave to melt it in, and it was, it was they were good. They were good. I mean, these are all right. One ninety nine. They're all right. They're tasty. Um, but I would make my own. I would honestly. But 
you know, it'd be different if you could just stick this in the oven all in a one it and just leave it for half an hour, come back and it's done. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. And just as easy to make your own. But it's tasty. It's tasty. I wouldn't buy it again for the simple reason I make my own. But it's it's tasty. It's an 8 out of 10. So thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Doff me cap if I had one on. Thanks to all the new foodies. You know, lovely people who've joined the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go live tonight at past 7. Just, you know, Q&A. Ask me what you like. I'll have a couple of beers. I'm, I'm not going mad. But, you know, just a bit of fun, isn't it? End of day. It's just a bit of fun. So take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.